From MitchMorizedOnline.com, headline, Mitch 2024 non-roster invitee preview. Catch up Kevin Parada. And before we get into this video, please hit that subscribe button and like this video and let me know what you think about it. We'll talk about one of the Met, one of the bigger Met prospects here. Uh, Kevin Parada was the Mets' first round pick in 2022 and immediately made noise in the minor leagues, causing him to skyrocket up prospect lists. Before the start of last season, Parada was listed as the third best prospect in the Mets' system by Keith Law by Francisco Alvarez and Brett Beatty. The noise was warranted. In two seasons for Georgia Tech, he had 341, 420, 636 slugging percentage, powered by an amazing 2022, where he had 361, 453, 709. Mets had him playing 13 games between their Florida Coast League team and the St. Lucie Mets, where he put together a combined 275, 455, 425 slash line. While 2022 was solid, 23 came with inconsistencies for Parada. He hit well in Brooklyn, slashing 265 in 87 games. These numbers were pretty good for a catcher, but the expectations were set high for him, who was drafted as the, a bat first player. Mets bumped him up for 14 games to Binghamton, and the struggles set in. 60 plate appearances, Parada's slash line dropped to 185, 253, 89 overall last year was a step backward. Going into the season, Lawyers Parada, Parada listed as the seventh best prospect in the Mets, Mets system. While Parada is still the Mets' best pitch, catching prospect, two new names are coming through the system that could push ahead of the Georgia Tech alum. The first is Ronald Hernandez. Mets acquired Hernandez in the David Robson trade last year, and after the trade, he slashed 286-509, 86 and 11 and 14 games. Hernandez is only two years younger than Parada. The Mets also signed 17 year old Giovanni Rodriguez, possibly the top catcher in this year's international free agent pool. Like Alvarez, Rodriguez hails from Venezuela and has shown maturity with the bat. According to MLB.com, his frame and footwork are advanced for his age and has a chess like mindset for calling games. MLB.com ranked Rodriguez as their sixth overall international prospect in 2024. Ahead of Parada on the depth chart is Alvarez. All of this puts Parada in an interesting position this year. There's pressure on the depth chart behind him, but both of those catches are much further away from the majors than Parada. Ahead of Parada is Alvarez, who should be Mets starting catcher for the foreseeable future. This takes the pressure off of the Mets to push Parada quickly to the system. This spring, many will be looking for him Parada to get back to his 2022 form. That means hitting for power, getting on base at a higher clip, and an improvement to his defense. Now, a couple of things. One that, that concerned the Mets and concerned scouts la uh, this past year was that Parada's strikeout total was high. Uh, he's not a guy that is a high strikeout guy. Also, he's had a reputation of his endurance not being what you want from a catcher. So that is a problem when you're catching the, in the rigors of the summer and during a major league season. If he's having trouble uh, keeping his endurance up during a minor league season, that is a troubling problem. And there is also talk that he might be moving to a different position. So we'll see what his progress is this year. He's going to be uh, playing a little bit in spring training. We'll get a chance to see him a little bit, and we'll see what happens. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to Prospect Hut, and I'll see you later.